This morning as the early show goes back to school, backpacks, most kids love them, but which is right for your child? Paul Hockman, contributing writer for Fast Company Magazine is here with us this morning. Good to see you again. Nice to see you too, Harry. First rule of backpacks. Don't overdo it. Oh. Yeah, there are a lot of people, most of the experts say about 15% of a kid's body weight is the max that they should pack in their pack. And usually these kids just jam them with so many, but they're way, way, way too they're overweight. They're like turtles. You know, you put them on their back, they'll never get up again. Exactly so, right. Well, we let's to... look at some of the new styles and backpacks and what are good for kids these I days. I love this one. This is from REI. It's called the Satellite. Very inexpensive in the $20 range. Yeah. The great thing about it is the little kids want to be like their older siblings sure. and wear lots of stuff. This and limits perfect. the size. Yeah. What's this one here? This is called the Acumen, also from REI. For women, the thing that's great about it, it has ergonomic design for narrower shoulders oh, very good. and a sternum pack to keep the, everything pretty much centered so it doesn't shift around. Awesome, terrific. There's Next all up, kinds of uh, colors and cool stuff Which here. attracts the kids. Yeah, this is this? called the Vault from uh, the North Face and this is a Jansport mesh pack. Both of these are in the $30 range and that's right. sort of the limit. I would say that's the minimum price of entry Sure. because with the features you're looking for, the ability to pack Now this thing with the mesh, does this mean this is like you put your gym clothes in here? Your gym clothes, not my <laughs> gym clothes. That's right, exactly. Nasty and, um, gym it clothes. It lets it vent and uh, keeps everything dry. Yeah, there you go. This is cool though, but uh, you see more and more of this. Yes, in fact, this is one solution for the overpacked bag. It has wheels um, on the bottom, and a lot yep. of kids can bring them. Now, some schools, check with your school, don't allow it because it's a tripping hazard, believe it or not. Oh, because it, it follows behind and exactly. people fall down. Exactly, but it is nice it. to be able to pack it just sort of like you do on, a, on an airplane. There Thank you go. You. What is this one here? Next, this, this is a great pack. This is, you, this is available at Amazon.com. It actually has a sandbag in it. Don't worry. It's called it's called the Kelty Red Tail. Okay, because they make real backpacks. These guys make great backpacks, and what you're going to see here, what you're buying with a slightly more expensive cost, is good shoulder pads uh -huh. and a whole bunch of stuff that allows you to pack it properly. And what is this one? Uh, this is Ortlieb, famous uh, messenger bag company. Yeah. German company. It's actually totally waterproof canvas. Oh, that's cool. Especially in the Northwest where it rains a lot. Yeah. Books will not get too wet. Way cool. And last but not least, Rickshaw Bag Works. This is uh, bottles to bags. This is mostly recycled bottles. Yeah. And uh, great if you don't, if the grad student who doesn't want to look like they have a backpack, they can uh, make a make a shoulder bag. Very very cool stuff. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Really appreciate it.